Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Dark Souls 3. This is my guide and walkthrough for the PC version. We're currently on installment 18, the Pontiff Sullivan boss fight. So this is the run back to the boss. It's very kind. And I have the Dragon Crest shield equipped here as well as the long sword. The latter is at plus seven, the former is at plus two. Uh, possibly plus one, I don't know. Yeah, plus one, I think. Uh, it, it could be up to plus two, I'm not sure. but. The thing about this fight is that you have an advantage on the stairs, so I would highly recommend that uh, you stand approximately somewhere on the stairs, because a lot of the times his attacks will go right over your head. And you have to be blocking here. You can mix blocking with uh, dodge rolling, but a lot of the times you're going to have to block because you're going to roll um, like right into his attacks, and he's very aggressive. So, uh, he is a parryable boss, but I'm not comfortable parrying him, so what I do is I just guard. Um, my stability is not the best, I think it's at 53. The fire damage absorption, the guard absorption with the shield is pretty decent. Um, that's basically all I do, I, I roll through some of his attacks, I guard the majority of them. Um, I do the rolling uh, R1 attack quite a lot, and it's just kind of backing off when you need to uh, because your stamina is going to be constantly at uh, at the very low end of the bar just because uh, your attacks his, his uh, attacks drain your stamina really fast that attack you need to jump away from um, at, at length he's going to summon a lackey and he usually does it twice depending on how fast you kill him um, he's going to fall at some point and he's going to have an AoE surround him so you need to back out of the way uh, very, very challenging fight. Uh, you could turn into, uh, well, I don't know how it's done on this game, but I know that if you use an ember right before the fight, there's an NPC whom you can enlist to help you fight. Okay, so he's going to drop, watch out for his AoE, and then go in for some more strikes. He doesn't always summon the doppelganger right away, but he typically does. And you want to two-hand your weapon here for more damage and attack the clone as fast as you possibly can. Fortunately, the, the lackey slash doppelganger doesn't have that much HP, but it's kind of a nuisance because it, it is really aggressive just like the boss is. So, again, just keep on the stairs, go in for strikes when you have time to do so, and I think he's summoning the clone again. So we're going to attack the clone as much as we can, and we really need to watch out for that sword attack that he does. He does a jumping sword attack, and he does that that attack too, that projectile. Yeah, just get the hell away from that sort of thing when he does that. Finish off the clone, and put your shield back up. Head over to the stairs, pop an ember if you have one and we were able to have a little fortune right there for once and I think he's gonna summon the clone again but he's at the point of life where I can finish him off here so we're gonna two-hand him and finish him off a tough tough fight that is not an easy fight to do I don't care what anybody says so that has been installment 18 you guys take care